Hello all, welcome to Make2 Explore channel. First of all, thank you to all our subscribers, viewers and supporters. In this video, we are going to see new project. Real-time pose estimation on Raspberry Pi. This will be a fast C++ implementation of TensorFlow Lite PoseNet on a bare Raspberry Pi 4. CPP programming, OpenCV library, and the deep learning model like TensorFlow Lite will be used to recognize body's key points like elbows, shoulders, knees, ankles, etc. This application estimates a person's pose in a scene. Means, it identifies different pose landmarks. So, without wasting time, let's see what hardware setup we are going to use. Okay, in hardware setup. Raspberry Pi 4 Model B is used. Which is connected to Logitech C270 webcam, via USB cable. LCD monitor is also connected through mini HDMI cable. Okay, this was about hardware setup. Now. Let's see demo of this project. For that, let's head over to Raspberry Pi desktop. Here is the project code, opened in code blocks IDE, in program, here the project's name. Real-time pose estimation on Raspberry Pi 4. About software, as we have mentioned earlier, OpenCV library, TensorFlow Lite frameworks is also used. In previous slide, we have also seen, what hardware is used for this project. Like RPI, Logitech's webcam, etc. We have referred codes created by Q-Engineering. So, source code credits goes to Q-Engineering. Huge thanks to them for such amazing works in machine learning. There are several deep learning examples are available on their website. Check them out. We will share all the links in the description box. Let's move forward and take a quick look at the project's code. Here are the include statements, which consist of standard libraries, different deep learning, OpenCV, and TensorFlow libraries. Then, down here, is the array of different body pose key points, or landmarks, which are denoted by labels, like left shoulder, right shoulder, elbow, knee, wrist, etc. You can see there are 16 landmarks labels. Here is the function, detect from video, where image pre-processing is carried out. With different properties, key points, and their coordinates. Here is the main function, where we first load the model. Like PoseNet, MobileNet, etc. Then here, they have built the interpreter. Next, going forward, let's see where the camera is defined. This code can also be used to estimate poses in recorded MP4 videos. You can see, if you want to use webcam then you have to comment this file browsing statement, and, uncomment camera opening function. Here the frame rate in FPS is calculated. Ok, now let's save this code, and then build, or, compile it. Here is gear icon button, to run the compiler. This will take some time to compile. Ok, here you can see our program is successfully compiled with zero errors and zero warnings. Let's execute this program by clicking this green button. As you can see, different body pose landmarks, joints are getting calculated. We're getting frame rate of aprox, 4 FPS. In this project we have only used the single person model because it gives good results when the person is centered and in full view in a square-like image. So, in this way, we have completed this project. All the codes will be shared on GitHub. We are also planning to try some more RPI4 OpenCV-based projects and deep learning examples from QEngineering's SD image, like object detection, segmentation, face mask detection, etc. Stay tuned for more updates. If you face any difficulty in replicating this project, feel free to ping us on Telegram, or you can also send us email at info at the rate make to explore.com. We would be happy to help. Thank you.